So today I'm going to go over how to form your imperatives and your infinitives of verbs in Latin. So we're starting off with kaweo, a verb that means the where. So your first three principal parts are important. Our infinitive is always the second part of the verb. So I'm going to plug that right down into the infinitive. So I don't have to do anything to it. By itself, with that RE attached, it gives my infinitive form. And it would mean to beware. Then if I want to use it to form my imperative, I'm going to chop off this RE. Oops, sorry about that. So no more RE. So my stem for my singular imperative is kawe, and I'm also going to put it down for my plural. With the change is the plural is going to have a te on the end. So both the kawe and kawe and kawete are coming from the infinitive without the re. How this would translate is both mean. Beware. With a big old exclamation point on the end. The difference is Kawe would be talking to one person. And Kawe to would be plural. The Romans are very specific with who they are addressing. And knowing how you are using the second principle part, whether it's an infinitive or an imperative, is important. So remember, imperative is just a command. That's why I have the exclamation point on the end, because you don't have a choice for you to be aware. I'm saying beware, it's a command. So kawe and kawete. Let's try another one. I have a perio. So I'm going to take the second part, my second principal part, which is my infinitive. So I could write it down there. And infinitives always translate as to black. So this is to open. To make my imperative, I'm going to chop off the RE. <clears throat> so no more RE on the end. So a peri. And the period is my plural, with the difference being it will have the te on the end. Then they both translate as open. But with an exclamation point on the end. So we're always using our second principal part. Right there. And then we're chopping off. R E. And then for the plural, write in T E for the plural imperative. Let's do one more. Gusto. So once again, I'm taking my second part of the verb. That's where we get our infinitive and our imperative from. So gustare is my infinitive. Get with me to taste. Then gusta. Remember, I am chopping off this RE. So, where I will get my stem from my singular and plural imperative to make it plural, difference being I'm going to add a T. Both translate as taste. So, both of these are coming from your second principal part. The difference being one is an infinitive, two blank. Second, two are imperatives, they're commands. We're always chopping off the RE. And then to make it plural, once again, you're attaching the TE. So that's how you form imperatives and infinitives of verbs.